Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading Midnight Poppy Land episode 7 to 8. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Tori looks so good in a suit. But don't. You know what, Mr. Lamb? I think we're going in the wrong direction. What are you talking about? The tables are just uh, uh, up ahead. Uh, let's go this way instead. Uh, I know a shortcut. But we just came from there. You're not making any sense, Miss Poppy. So you see, my interest in small startups ensures that I make outsized returns. Right. Uh, this is where it will come into play. In this proposal, I've prepared for... Yes, th that's nice. As I was saying, I made a huge profit turnover of 100 million. You're probably not aware of how large a sum that is. Uh, uh, I can't say you're wrong. I wouldn't blame you. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Darn, he's been going on and on and I haven't managed to get a single word in. Is he even reading the proposal I prepared? And I can't believe of all people to run into. Uh, oh. <gasps> What's that look on his face? It's barely noticeable, but... <gasps> Was that smirk? Did he recognize me? Uh, Miss Poppy, are you okay? That pervert. I'm gonna kill him. <sighs> I can't ever believe the big boss asked me to come along. I'm so honored. <laughs> do, do we get our own room or something? Yeah, a private room at that back. Ah, for me, this place is posh as hell. Good thing Big Bro Tora came out to get me. I was ready to wreck that security guard. So, who else is here? Wait, don't tell me that Martin and his little... What? Claude and Scratch? Ah, that, that reminds me. Hey, Big Bro, I heard from Gyu that you totally whooped Claude's ass moments ago at the bar counter. Did he smile? <laughs> oh. The F are you two looking at? Turn around and keep walking. What on earth are you doing? Oh, um, nothing much. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying before you interrupted me, I made a total profit of a hundred million in a week. And my next appointment is with the chairman of the Naran Traders Association at the very prestigious Eastern Center of the Commerce Building. God, that old geezer's been bragging since we got here. Any idea who he is, Mr. Financial Advisor? Naturally. Brad Lamb, multimillionaire, who inherited a large sum of money from his late wife. He's been dabbling in various businesses, investments since... So he's just an old coot with tons of money for ta the taken, eh? That'll be a piece of cake, you keen. I'm good. He's all yours, Scarsh. Uh, I'm so screwed. Mr. Lim hasn't stopped talking about himself for the past hour. Is he not taking me seriously because I look like a teenager? Huh? Huh? Is it Mr. Lamp? Where is he going? I haven't started on my presentation yet. Wait, a minute? Those two guys. They're laughing and all, but somehow... Something's not right about these guys. Mr. Lamp! Mr. Lamp, please! Wait! Uh... Huh? Where do you think you're... Th where you think you're going? I wouldn't do that if I were you, kiddo. It's him. You... You acquainted with those guys, aren't you? Uh, I don't know what kind of illegal syndicate you guys belong to. But I'm not going to sit by and watch you put someone I know in harm's way. Uh, if you'll excuse me.
Mm. Quincy, yeah, I'm leaving now. No reason, didn't feel like staying on. The conference started in a couple hours, doesn't it? Get ready, I'll pick you up in the in 30. Click. I don't know what kind of legal syndicate you guys belong to. But I'm not going to sit by and watch as you put someone I know in harm's way. Oh my gosh, she changed gear. <gasps> oh, where the F is she? Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. You shouldn't be running when it's so crowded here, little miss. I'm so sorry. I tripped. Watch it. You almost made me drop my phone. Oh, what the hell? Learn to F and drive, pal. And get the F off the road until you do, you little sh- Pardon me, please let me through. Someone's in trouble, please. Hey. Oh my gosh. Woo, it's getting tense. Hey. Christ, you, how far have you been running? Not too far. They got into a car, but just alighted just in front. You chase after a freaking car? I couldn't get hold of a cab, plus they're too expensive over here. And it was short, and it was just a short distance. They alighted up ahead and disappeared into the crowd. Aren't they your friends? Can you call them up and ask? What do you think I'm doing now? Well, what did they say? They're not picking up. Is he in danger? Don't tell me you guys belong to the some human... Okay, Pops. He looks like he's trying to help you, so... Now might be a good time to keep your big, judgy mouth shut. And I... We're not friends. We just work together. Uh... They can't have left this area so quickly on foot. Get in my car. Uh, your car? Uh, by car, do you mean... The one that's being towed away? <gasps> uh. Oh. Wow, this is my first time seeing a car being towed. They sure are efficient in the city. I hope it's not too expensive to get your car back. What? Whoa. Get back here with my mother. <laughs> mother effing car or tell you're sticking up. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh. This seemingly silent and stoked man. Oh. Has the most violent and explosive vocabulary I've ever heard. But the bigger question is. <laughs> how much more do we have to run? Why am I being dragged along with him? Duh. Your leg, is it, is it okay? Oh, wait a second. Huh? Oh. I see him. It's Mr. Lamb. God damn. If I ever find that mother effort that did this? He's over there. What? I think they went into some gift shop, but they're leaving now. They're getting into a car again. Wait, what is he pointing at? Think Pops. Mr. Lamb bought a gift from that expensive store. Could he be meeting someone important? Anyway, as I was saying before you interrupt me, I made a total profit of a hundred million in a week. And my next appointment is with the chairman of Naran Traders Association at the very prestigious Eastern Center of a Commerce Building. The Eastern Center of Commerce Building. There! that That's what could be where he's heading! Well, where are you running off to? The hell, she can still run? Where does she get all that energy from? I know where they're heading. It's that purple building. The Eastern Center of Commerce Building. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's actually a blue building. Purple building? 
We're definitely not going to make it there by foot unless... Come on. I know a shortcut we can take. To the purple building? Yeah. Everyone says it's blue, but it's effing purple to me. Uh, they're all freaking idiots. The two real idiots. I agree. I'm colorblind, so purple and blue does mesh together for me. So purple, blues, pinks, of course I can tell red, but those colors do blend in and I do mix it up often. Wow, these steps sure are steep. I haven't climbed this many steps, uh, stairs in the city. It's all escalators and elevators. How much further do we have to travel? I'm directing the maps. Been a while since I used this route. I want to be sure they didn't change anything. Uh, uh, okay. Take your time. Yeah, might as well catch a breather while we're here. Traffic over there is bad as the bad at this hour. They won't be getting that far. Yeah, a breather sounds good. T hmm? For someone so intimidating, he sure has pretty lashes. <laughs> Christ. How the hell do you use this goddamn Google map things? Uh. Okay, guys. You know, the past few reads, they don't have, like, the ending clip right here, like, we, where you see it right here. It's just, like, straight to, like, oh, it just cuts off, and then you see, like, the little spam message from whatever store on the bottom. So I was like, yeah, this, this kind of caught me off guard, but I was looking for this. Anyways... Mr. Lamb talking about himself and gloating reminds me of people I know that I don't like being around and ugh, I just shut up. Not everything is always about you. Like I, I had, I have family members who love to gloat about themselves. Like, oh yeah, I bought a brand new Louis Vuitton belt or I got red bottoms or I got a Porsche or whatever. BS, I want to flex. And then I had a someone that I thought was a friend who would always brag and brag about themselves. I just couldn't handle people like that. And I always like avoid them because like whenever you're doing good in life, they always want to like downgrade or downplay all of the things that you achieve. And, you know, and I don't like to talk about myself, but if they ask, I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm doing X, Y, Z and that's it, you know, but whenever you do talk about yourself, they always make you feel crappy. Anyways, anyways. Mr. Lamb annoys me. <laughs> All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this, reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!